Yo guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be talking about my past and future. So in the past, I was playing a lot of IMVU and it was good and bad because I role played as Gohan. But before I was Gohan, I was just Ruka and someone was nice enough to give me a name change token. Back then, I had a lot of good friends. Some, some of them needed an ass whooping. But if you're not familiar with IMVU, it's a game, well, chat simulator type thing. When you're an avatar, and you can pretty much do anything you want to by clicking these yellow dots, and it'll move your avatar. Or if you want to do the T1 role play, when it's just text, you just I prefer 3D, but something in me wants to go back to IMVU, but my fiance does not want me to, so I have to obey by that. So I'm not gonna start any sneaky shit, cause that's how relationships go to an end by the whole sneaky conversation and a sneaky activity behind your partner's back, and I'm not doing that. So. I'm just gonna be talking about this. I will leave a link to my old channel of Gohan. And you'll be able to see what I went through. So I'll show you a little glimpse. By the way, guys, that's me. That was me in 2015 before I got sick with schizophrenia and my life changed. But now I'm steady working to gain what I lost. So the thing is, the reason why I lost my ex is not because the whole cheating thing. It's because I was doing some sneaky shit, but I guess you could say it's this cheating thing. But the thing is, everyone has reasons. And some people go too far and revenge is not the option i'm gonna tell you that now because you hurt more people than you actually try to get back at that person in other words if you're gonna seek revenge you're hurting yourself more than you're hurting the other person because you're putting too much effort into actually trying to get back at that person and then more garbage ends up on your shoulders if that makes any sense, but yeah, this is me. Just you that my mind is on. Dressed up, got my heart messed up. You got yours and I got mine. If you say that I still care, and I wonder where you are tonight, it could be different. You see how happy I was, like literally, without the medication and everything, I'm more. Hype. Not so much as hype, but I just don't give a fuck, really. Like, there's. I don't know. Before I started medication, I was. You could say insane, but I wasn't insane. I was just goofy. And I was proud. And I was at Air Force RTC Airmen. And that is Kansas 881. Yes, I still remember the numbers and all that, and my rank and what I went by. Everyone called me Cadet Ray and shit like that, but I was very proud of who I was because I put in effort into everything I did. I might not, sometimes I would do stuff that was just off the top, but. This isn't about my life. This is more going back in time. And so I'm just trying to remember some stuff so I can get out of this depression. Cause I'm so depressed right now that I don't even know who I am anymore. Like when my father died, my stepdad, Johnny Ray, when he died, I just lost everything. Like, and I already know when my mom passes. 
it's going to be hell to face. Like, I don't know what to do. People are going to be on me. They'll want this and they'll want that. And they'll be want me to come around more and stuff like that. So, I don't know. So, as I say, guys, back to the IMU thing. All right. All right. So, basically, that's Son Goku of IMU, the official Goku. And that's the Oob, that's Bola, and that's Bulma, I think. And that's some guy. I don't remember his name. Cause it's been since 2015 all the way. I don't know. It's hard, but that was me. That was my adult version when I went through the arc of changing over into Mystic Gohan. And a lot of this stuff just some of the stuff I missed, but some of it I just wish I never did, like literally. And this is the channel I did, you know, I kinda did some fan made stuff on here too, like this. much it so I don't want to get copyrighted so that was pretty much it guys but yeah guys that was pretty much it as I said I used to do a lot with my talents back then I'm a very creative person when I want to be you just have to put something in front of me and don't rush me or don't harp on me just let me learn because I learned about computers growing up back in 2013 when I graduated high school and a lot has actually changed for me growing into a man because I'm 26 now and I'll be 27 in September and yes I'm a Virgo But, as I say, guys, I battle depression. And it makes me very quiet. And I'm not really that big into stuff like that anymore. I mean, somewhere inside of me, I would like to go back to it. But again, my fiance, she doesn't agree with it. So I'm not going to argue about it. I'm just going to accept it. There's other games I can play. That don't require me having to talk to a bunch of people. Because as I said, talking to a bunch of people, eventually that starts sneaky conversations. And sneaky activities and stuff like that, if that makes any sense. But anyway, guys, I just want to apologize for anyone I hurt in the past. And I hope everyone can actually look past anything I've done. to help me you know I just I gotta settle my differences with people so every so I don't have that guilt inside of me anymore so as I said I was gonna put in work and this is me putting in work and by the way I do not own that YouTube channel anymore I totally forgot everything um, even if I did go back to it, I wouldn't be able to keep up with anything. Like I can, I already know the stats on there and the insights are off the chain bad, and there's no way to get it back because I've been off of it for so long. But anyway, guys, everyone stay tuned for more. Thank you. Peace.